In this video, we're going to talk about the new Responsive Layout Genie in the UX component. So Responsive Layout is a term that is commonly used to describe um, a layout that changes automatically based on the screen size or screen orientation of the device that you're running on. So you can see here we have a component right now in the mobile simulator and we're in landscape mode so we have a list that is displaying four columns of data and there is no, currently there is no header displayed on this uh, panel card. But when we change over to uh, vertical mode, to portrait mode, you can see that my list now has two columns of data and that the header is displayed. So let's go back now and take a look at how the uh, responsive layout genie was used um, to do this. So we'll go back to design mode right now and we can see here's our component. There's the panel card with the list uh, and then the uh, the header con uh, component over there, so um, which contains the text that displays header. The list itself has been designed with two different layouts, so you can see that this list has a vertical layout and a horizontal layout, so those are the names of the two layouts. And if we go to our list layout, we can see that the vertical layout has two columns, but that the horizontal layout has four columns. So now let's go over to properties and we can see that there's a section in the uh, UX properties called responsive design settings and then let's click the uh, button to open up the uh, builder. So when we open up the builder we can see um, a uh, builder that displays um, different rules, different actions and then different properties for different actions. So um, let me actually start from scratch here. Um, and uh, recreate this uh, set of rules. So I'm going to go here and delete these rules and then delete these actions. So now we're starting out with a blank slate and uh, the rules are basically JavaScript uh, expressions that evaluate to either true or false and the expressions can reference uh, system fields like screen.width and screen.height and uh, various other system fields. So you can see if I go here and add a rule and then uh, insert field I can see all of the little system fields here that I that I can reference so screen dot width screen dot height screen dot orientation and then uh, device dot is mobile device dot is safari etc so this uh, the uh, the rule expression is on any arbitrary JavaScript expression that you want and then you can give the rule um, a name so the name is arbitrary. It doesn't matter what you call the uh, the rule, but you can use the name in uh, show hide expression. So it's a good idea to give it a meaningful name. So rather than just go and create my own rules right now, let me roll a uh, loader rule set, and it, you can see I have a predefined rule set here called landscape and portrait. So you can create your own rule sets and then just save them if you want. But right now, so we're just pulling in this very simple. A rule set that has one rule that tests if our device is in landscape and we've given that rule a name called landscape but it could have just as easily been called Bob or Fred um, and then another rule here called um, screen uh, called portrait which tests if we're in portrait mode so now let's go and add for each rule we can define a series of actions so the first action that we'd like to do is uh, set the uh, active layout in the list control. So we'll go there to list control and we'd like to basically control list number one. So there we go now. So we're setting the properties now of list number one. So when, when list number one is in landscape mode, we'd like to go here and select the horizontal layout. But when list number uh, one is in portrait mode in this rule, then we would like to select the uh, vertical mode. So at this point now we've defined the rule that selects the active layout uh, in the list control but we haven't yet defined the rule that turns on and off the header. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our video now on responsive design in the UX component and we've defined a rule now that sets the active layout uh, in the list control. So let's go now back over to uh, working preview and we can see now that as we change our orientation the list changes but the header is still visible in both situations so let's go back now and add another rule 
uh, to our builder. So we'll go here and select another rule. This time we'd like to modify the properties on a panel card and the panel card we'd like to operate on is panel card number one. So when we're in uh, landscape mode we'd like to basically hide the header and when we're in portrait mode we would like to show the header. So let's go back now and click OK and now go over to working preview so we can see that we're in uh, portrait mode, the header is shown go to horizontal mode and now the header has been displayed. So at this point we've displayed a very 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 simple set of responsive rules and in fact the uh, uh, changing from one list layout to another list layout uh, could actually be done in the list itself so we didn't really need to use responsive rules just to control the list B uh, but uh, it does serve to demonstrate the uh, concept here. So let's go back to design mode right now and just take another look here at the uh, builder. So um, you can see here that we have a tip that says uh, to see generated JavaScript just right click. So if I go to uh, this first action and right click you can see that what I see here is the JavaScript that's going to get generated to select um, the active list layout and if I go here to this next tab this is the JavaScript for um, all of the actions for the current rule. So this is all of the actions for the portrait rule. So this is uh, selecting the list and this is um, uh, uh, displaying the uh, header. And then if I go to this final button over here this is all of the actions for all of the rules. So there's the landscape rule being defined over there and there's the portrait rule. So being able to actually see the JavaScript is interesting for advanced users who want to learn how to how some of the JavaScript was uh, was written. So in this case we've created a, a very simple set of layout rules but let's go now to another example that this time uh, displays some more complex rules. So in this example over here you can see that we have a, a panel layout and inside the panel layout we have two panel cards and the uh, panel cards uh, inside this panel layout are set to flow from right to left. So let's go now to uh, working preview and we can also see that panel card 1 uh, doesn't have an explicit size set on it but panel card 2 has an explicit size of 60 pixels. So let's go now to um, working preview and uh, we can see now that um, we have uh, our two headers that are displayed here. There's the one panel card and over here is the uh, second panel card. So now if we switch to say horizontal mode we can see now that the layout was actually changed from uh, top to bottom to left to right and the headers uh, were turned off and also this container over here has become visible so we have a little container over here which is displayed right now in horizontal mode but when we go to vertical mode you can see that that container disappeared so there's a lot more going on right now in this component than in the previous one that we demonstrated so let's go back now to um, properties now and take a look at the responsive design settings uh, for this component so we can see how that again we have just two rules but of course there could be as many rules uh, as as you wanted. You might for example have a rule for landscape on a phone, landscape on a small tablet, landscape on a big tablet and then landscape on a desktop browser. So uh, then for any given rule um, you can specify whether that rule is turned on or turned off. So I have a rule here called JavaScript but since the apply setting button has been turned off we're actually not going to be applying that rule anymore so um, you can turn on and off rules um, individually um, uh, in the properties pane over here so let's go take a look now at the first uh, panel layout over here and you can see that for this panel layout when we're in landscape mode we're setting the flow direct so we're continuing with our video on responsive layout design and what we're showing here is that when we're in landscape mode we're going to go and set the uh, flow direction of this panel layout to be uh, left to right but when we're in portrait mode we're going to change the flow orientation from left to right to top to bottom then we can see here for this panel navigator 
uh, when we're in landscape mode we're going to hide the header and when we're in portrait mode we're going to show the header then for panel card number two uh, when we're in landscape mode we're going to set the layout size to flex one uh, but when we're in portrait mode we're going to set the layout size to uh, instead of using an explicit size like for example say hey, 160 pixels we're going to say JavaScript colon and then we're going to specify uh, either some JavaScript code or the name of a JavaScript function that will be used to return the value so in this particular case we've said uh, that when we're in portrait mode we'd like to compute the width of panel card 2 based on this JavaScript function and the JavaScript function gets called with two parameters screen and device so let's go take a look now at uh, get job get panel width so I'll just close that down temporarily and go to JavaScript and so here's my function get panel width takes two arguments screen and device and then uh, it's going to return 160 pixels so that's the value for that panel inside the panel layout um, when this particular layout rule is true so going back to the builder here so we've just seen how we can use uh, either explicit values or JavaScript expressions and we can change the layout size and also the dock position of this panel card uh, which is a an immediate child of that panel layout over there for panel card 1 uh, you can see that we've got the header being shown um, and then hidden depending on the active rule there and then for panel card 3 I don't believe we've actually turned on any rules at all so uh, in this case here yeah, the rule set is uh, more complex and uh, and allows you to create uh, uh, more uh, complicated adjustments to your layout based on the um, the active rule but uh, what we haven't discussed yet is how this um, this container over here is shown and hidden so let's go back now to the builder and go to the container so here's the container that contains those buttons and if we go now to the containers show hide expression we can see that the show hide expression is referencing a system field called dialog.active layout rule so there is dialog.active layout rule and we've said that when the active layout rule is landscape then we're going to show this container and the word landscape here doesn't really refer to the device orientation being landscape or portrait this the word landscape here is an, an explicit reference to the rule name so this rule name here landscape is arbitrary I can call this anything that I want but uh, given that I did call it landscape I can reference the active rule um, uh, in my show hide expressions and so that, that was the technique that was used to show and hide that container so um, while there are a whole bunch of built-in uh, rules that allow you to do a whole um, series of different actions based on um, the active rule there certainly may be situations where the um, available rules don't cover your particular needs so in that case the JavaScript option allows you to specify um, any arbitrary JavaScript that you would like to execute when that rule becomes active so what we've shown here in this video is how you can build very very complex rule sets so that a single UX component can be rendered in a completely different way depending on the device um, and um, uh, orientation and how a single um, component can look different on a, a phone, a small tablet, a large tablet or a desktop browser. Thanks very much for watching.